Well, it's starting to appear like Solana as well as Ethereum are breaking through their symmetrical triangle on their four hour chart, which is quite interesting considering we discovered this as of yesterday. We figured this wasn't going to last long and we would start to kind of break through this at some point or another within this week here as over the weekend, the stock market is closed and crypto is kind of flatlined. Well, we're just starting now to break through the top resistances of these four hour kind of symmetrical triangles here. And we're going to see whether or not this is going to carry the price up for this week, moving us higher up into um, into some levels we've kind of been patiently, and I mean patiently, waiting for here, heading up higher like that, even within Solana potentially heading up higher. We're really looking for this to break through as we're starting to do and get back above a major resistance here. So there's lots of things we're going to have to go over and lots of things we're going to have to discuss with you guys ASAP. We're also going to be going over XRP's charts here within its beautiful bull flag formation. Like I said, Solana, Ethereum, we're going to be looking at Bitcoin as well as the S&P 500. I'm going to be giving you guys my insight and my thoughts on the way these markets have been moving because honestly, we've kind of been dragging at the bottom for quite a long time here where prices have just been stagnant, volume has died off, and crypto has just been floating lower and then floating lower and lower and lower. And it's just been boring, 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 boring. January, it was a horrible month for crypto. Literally, January started for uh, XRP at, uh, what is it, 62 cents, and we're practically at 50 cents now. So we've done nothing but just landslide and correct to the downside here. But I'd likely think that we have hit the bottom on a lot of these major cryptocurrencies and reversal could be in the very near future. Now, with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump right into today's episode. So guys, I want to give a huge shout out to Banana Gun for uh, partnering with me on today's episode. For those that don't know what Banana Gun is, as you guys can see here, welcome to Banana Gun, your trading bot available on Telegram and web app. Snipe up coming along or safely trade tokens that are already live. They inspire you to be your go-to platform for trading on the Ethereum network and soon other exchanges, which is actually extremely cool. And it's really cool. And more information about them you can find in the description. But specifically, they have a really cool announcement coming and they're trying to get their token, their native token listed on Bybit. As you guys can see here, the Bybit Buy Votes listing for big rewards of over $200,000. But I devs have been working around the clock to bring as much value to the bot as they can and now they need support from their holders and users the war has arrived in the land of banana door and they will need all the manpower they can get they are a contestant now on bybit official their buy votes uh buy votes campaign to get a listing on bybit in the tier one exchange and they need your help asap so not only can you get some free rewards by signing up to bybit and then voting for them they will have a couple couple of other things going on, which I want to share with you. As you guys can see here, they want you to vote for Banana for a opportunity to win $200,000 in the reward pool. As you can see here, 200K will be divided through multiple campaigns and you can participate in multiple campaigns to increase your share of the prize pool. You can win $100 easily by just registering with their link, which is down in the description below. Banana Gun, uh, as also known as Banana, is entering next week's Buy Votes listing voting event, which means they're trying to get their utility native token listed on the exchange for trades. And they're thrilled that they were nominated by uh, Buy Votes on Bivit here, which is super cool. So for those that are wondering how it works, Buy Votes is a community-centric voting system enabling Bybit users to select worthy projects for listing on their exchange, which is pretty you know, unique. We've talked about this in the past with other cryptocurrencies that we're trying to get listed. And the top voted project will secure a spot on the Bybit Innovation Zone as a trading pair here. And their incentive, you can see, is a total of 200,000 in incentives and it's spread over several initiatives. They have 100K in Banana Gun token during the buy, uh, the buy vote event here. You can see 100K in Banana tokens proportional to your voting engagement here. Then we'll have uh, first 30 minutes voting, we'll have $10,000. And then and what else do they have? 30K in a 10,000 votes pool, $30,000 here. And they explain how you can do that. I'll put the link to the medium to this website down in the description below. And you can pick which one you like. But basically, you have to sign up for Bybit. And then you can vote for a lot of these campaigns here. But it's a lot of furry cryptocurrency, which who doesn't like? It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take you any time. It's, it's that simple here. You can see the 10K, 10K, 30K, 40K, and then another 10K pool. And then they have the 100K uh, voting campaign here. 
They also have the entire campaign on Zealy on the Banana Gun campaign right here. You can see everything that you would need to do. It's kind of all in one place, which is super cool. They have the intro, and then they have right here the buy bit vote. Check the info about the 200k rewards, so on and so forth here. Register through the link. They give you a step-by-step -step way to enter and get some free cryptocurrency or get a chance to win some free cryptocurrency too, which is super cool. So I'll link this down in the description below ASAP. Make sure to check them out ASAP as well. But with all that being said, diving back into the technical analysis, as you guys can see, um, yesterday we made a video basically talking about the, you know, bullish symmetrical triangle forming on Solana and XRP and a lot of the other cryptocurrencies. And hopefully it would lead us to a break to the upside here, which is kind of what we were referencing or hoping for. And you can see a potential upswing reversal was kind of what we were or it's kind of what we were expecting here. And that's kind of what started to happen, which is exciting, but it's not really breaking out just yet. I think we don't have enough volume. We still don't have enough volume to be seeing some sort of flourishing breakout moon blast to the upside. However, it is leading us to the right direction as I am very bullish for the month of February here. You can see market is only up about 0.8%. And again, we haven't been doing much but consolidating and trading sideways. Nothing of importance, really, because we've kind of just been floating. There hasn't been enough volume to come into the markets, which is why, you know, Bitcoin's only up a percent. Ethereum's only up a percent. BNB is only up a percent. Everything's kind of just stagnant right now in the waters here. And we're waiting for some initiative, maybe some breaks in the patterns for us to start to scale higher. Now, for those trading on XRP, you guys know we've been talking about this for many days now, that there has been a very solid and large descending triangle forming here, creating these lower high patterns. And we're just starting to get, you know, uh, some resistance, some turbulence from the downtrend right here. We have a beautiful uh, price floor. This is basically the oversold market and this top resistance here. And we are slowly but surely filling in the gap. And a decision soon is going to have to be made. And hopefully, it's to break us up. That's truly what I would anticipate and expect to see happen here is a reversal out of this. We already are starting to do that. We're bouncing nicely off support here. So I think this week might be the time we start to see prices swing up. Now, I've been focusing on this. You know, we've been watching a massive, and I mean a monumental, massive bull flag formation here that has been taking a long time on XRP to form. And with us breaking outside of this major resistance here, the goal is we can start to slowly scale back up to retest resistance as well as this moving average and hopefully we can break through that but we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves here but ideally what we're waiting for is reversal off that markets have been consolidating for god knows how long xrp has been consolidating for god knows how long literally since november of 2023 and this downtrend here and at some point we are going to have to hit some sort of bottom and a reversal is going to have to come. Now, zooming in on the four-hour charts here, you can see we've discovered there's also some lower high, lower low pattern forming here, which is typically bullish. At the end of this, it's usually a bullish bias for a break to the upside here. And that's what I'm still waiting for too. I'd likely think or figure out that there's going to be some sort of reversal coming for the markets here. So how I would go around this, and it's definitely a moderate to an aggressive trade, is if we can break through this resistance up top here, we break through this downtrend and an aggressive buy-in, very risky, but an aggressive buy-in to long it to the upside here, where I would expect to get some sort of turbulence from the moving average. However, if we break through that as well, then we can buy in for a long position, as I would expect that out of all these bull flags that are broken bullish, they do take quite a long time, FYI, to fill in the gap and consolidate. But once we break through this resistance, this price ceiling, I would expect to see some sort of reversal rally to the upside to come after that. But it is going to take a while. Now, you can see Things like Solana, we've we've been kind of tracking some sort of symmetrical triangle here, just started to break outside of it, which is exciting as well. And hopefully that allows us to uh, get the needed boost of volume, which we're just now starting to see ever so slightly here, but get us back above support here and continue to scale higher. I do think that's actually what's going to come. You know, I've had to change posi positions a couple of times. I originally thought we would see a pretty solid uh, a break, a pretty extreme one like we've seen here. You can see this was pretty much just a, a bullish breakout and explosion in price that just shot us straight up for the most part here. It doesn't seem like we got the volume to do that. We did find that we were tracking a bull flag on Solana here and we did break out of it, but it wasn't as extreme as we would have liked it to be. However, that doesn't mean we're not going to be swinging up. I'd likely think this is going to continue a bullish pattern to the upside here. It's just going to be one of those that you have low leverage on or just not le no leverage at all. Just hold it with expectations of prices to rally about 10 to maybe even 30%. I know that sounds crazy. I'll give you an exact possible reference right now. 
if I can find it. Here we go. Uh, price range from where we currently are up to maybe here. Yeah, it's 41. And from breakout would be about 44 or 45%, uh, percent, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. But we've been consolidating for quite some time now here that hopefully this week volume can kick back off and we can start to skew or scale to the upside here. And I think we might be doing that as we are now just starting to break off and reverse uh, upwards from the the uh, four-hour supports and moving averages. Ethereum's rejecting off resistance here, but we did break out of this symmetrical triangle as well. So I'd likely think we're going to start to scale higher with that. Bitcoin needs to consolidate here. I don't think there's any point of waiting to buy in until we break through this price ceiling. And then we could start to scale up because for the most part, I just think we're going to be continuing to fill this in as we have been for many, 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 many months now. And as for the S&P, I'd likely think we'd see some more consolidation, but we are going to be headed higher uh, this month as well. But with that being said, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.